Should somebody speak a language that does not seem familiar to you, you don't tell the person I'm not hearing you. It is wrong. Are you deaf? No. You simply say, I'm sorry, I don't understand your language. I'm sorry, madam, I don't understand the robo. I was talking to a lady and probably she didn't hear me clearly and she said, Lucky, please come again. I was like, come again? This is wrong. You simply say, could you repeat? You say, ah, there's, there's seed in this um, custard dough. What do you mean by seed? It is not seed. It is called lumps. You say the food is pepperish. It is wrong. There's nothing like pepperish in the dictionary. It is peppery. You say the party will be next tomorrow. No. The party will be in two days time or the party will be a day after tomorrow. Somebody was saying, I like this, your broken plate. I'm sorry. The plate is not yet broken. It's called a breakable plate. I want to ask this question. If I'm watching this video right now, I'm expecting an answer from you. Among these two phrases on time and in time which is correct i know a lot of you say on time a lot of you say in time but the both phrases are correct yeah on time means arriving at a particular time which is neither early or late for example i was asked to come to class by 8 a.m and i arrived and i arrived class 8 a.m it means i am on time then in time means arriving earlier than the expected time. I was asked to come to class by 9 a.m. and I arrived before 9 a.m. It means I am in time. You see, these are the common errors you and I make in English language. A lot of people have been intimidated by getting their grammar wrong. They have been embarrassed irrespective of their certificate. They have been let down. Somebody was here, yeah, Lucky, can you hear the aroma of that stew? What? I, I'm sorry, I can't hear it. I can only perceive it. You say I'm the last born. It is wrong. You say I'm the last child. I have with you my little big errors in English language. This book is going to dramatically increase your English ability. It is going to build up your vocabulary. It is going to develop you on how to write good letters. It is going to make you fluent in one of the most amazing spoken languages in English language. Whatever field you find yourself, a lot of you say, I'm looking for a job. Please, it is wrong. You don't say, I'm looking for a job. You say, I'm searching for a job or I'm seeking employment. If you're interested, you need a copy of the book. You can, this is my number on WhatsApp. I have this number registered on WhatsApp. You can chat me up. If you're interested for online lectures on WhatsApp, please just chat me up. You can subscribe to my channel to watch my previous video, my next video. Um, can like my page on Facebook, Lucky Udu. I also have with you a lot. I also have with you my excellent interview guide. This is a handbook. A lot of you go for interviews, you don't get the job. I bring you good news. If you get this book, you get the job. You see, this book contains the common confronting questions that are likely to be asked when you go for interviews. The first question is usually asked: Tell me about yourself. Do not use this open-ended question to offer useless information. A lot of people make the mistake of saying, My name is Lucky, I'm a Nigerian from Delta State, Agbo Ikanotis local government, I married the father of two children, age five and seven. No! A good answer to this question, tell me about yourself, should be about two minutes long, yes. It should focus on your work-related skills and accomplishments. Tell the interviewer why you think your work-related skills and accomplishments will be an asset to the company. The interviewer may ask you, where do you see yourself in five years? Do not claim you'll be running the company in five years. No. You should explain to the interviewer that you understand that your promotion will be earned through hard work and not just because you, you, you stay long with the company. Explain to him that, explain to the interviewer that you see yourself working in two to three levels above the one in which you are applying. They ask you how, how, how much salary are you expecting? Wouldn't it be great if you know what an, an employer or a hiring manager will be asking you in your next interview? Unfortunately, I can't read minds, but I'll be able to give you the next best answer. How do you balance career and marriage and family? How do you answer this question? How much salary are you expecting? For how long have you been looking? For how long have you been job hunting? Have you been searching for a job? Have you been seeking employment? Why did you leave your past um, 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 job? 
have you been fired have you ever owned a business if you are interested you want to get a copy of the book this is my number just chat me up on whatsapp thanks so much for watching this video i'll be making more videos so subscribe to my channel my channel on youtube lucky udu you like my page on facebook lucky udu thanks so much so i hope your business is moving my business cannot move you say i hope your business is booming booming means a period of rapid economic growth or it's help your business is flourishing flourishing means for something to go vigorously are you a motivational speaker and mc a comedian you say please give him a round of applause you need to get a copy of this book you say on suit it is wrong my little big errors in english language the world has progressed in age and population the bible said it better parents train up your child in the way they should grow and if they get old you know the rest i know a lot of you just there's something i there's something i want to tell my haters there's no statue that's ever been erected for a critic i love you now start, you, you start insulting me i don't care because nobody ever psychologically happy can be hitting on someone else. Why not use that energy for something positive? It's a boy lucky who do thanks so much for watching this video.